Hi, I'm Lawrence Brom, Senior Film Director at Shambhala Studio. And I want to thank you for waiting so long for the release of our upcoming film, Return of the Lotus Born Master, Decrypting the Dakini Code. Now I'm going to give you a few insights on what to expect. Some of you may be surprised at some of the Star Wars imagery that appears in the film. Um, why do we have the prophecies of the Lotus Born Master floating out into space in the opening of the film? Well, of course, he stored his teachings not only in the physical form, as sutras or in statues, but actually he stored it in the universal cloud. You may be surprised at our very, very martial arts Dakini, who fights off all the different uh, Mara or demons single-handedly with her uh, glowing uh, saber sword. But it's not about violence. It's about her using her magnetic energies in the form of the laser with a hidden crystal within to be able to magnetize and transform those demons ultimately into protectors. At the end of the film, you'll see them basically prostrating to her with the terma to be hidden for the future. And so these are all aspects of the film that I'm giving you some sort of insight into. So when you see it, you go, wow, that's not quite what I expected. Well, sometimes the magic of revealing something is to find out the very thing that you least expect will be where the answer to all your questions is. So join us for the answers or at least to ask the questions on return of the Lotus Born Master decrypting the Dakini Code.